Thank you. I'm John Fund from the Wall Street Journal. We have heard many impressive speakers and heroes over the last two days from all over the world. But now we are going to be hearing from a local hero. Roar Hagen is the leading cartoonist for the Norwegian paper VG. And in fact, he has a wonderful cartoon in today's paper based on this conference and the speech we heard yesterday from Paul Den Gjaito. And Mr. Hagen is not just a cartoonist, but also a very noted columnist in Norway. The great scientist Albert Einstein once said, quote, two things are infinite, the universe and human stupidity, and I'm not sure about the universe. Einstein was right. It is this axiom which makes political cartooning important. The people who ultimately govern will make their decisions based on the public reaction to them in part. They are human after all, but history has demonstrated the power that can turn leaders into monsters. Editorial cartoonists will gladly point out the shortcomings of the powerful in an effort to keep them human. Rude Hagen's cartoons are a combination of hard-hitting commentary, gut-busting humor, and intricate artwork. He is a serious cartoonist, and he also is a serious journalist. That is why he is often called the thinking man's cartoonist. He is also a cartoonist with courage. When the Danish newspaper published the very controversial cartoons of Mohammed and set off an intellectual firestorm a few years ago, there were interesting reactions around the world and in Norway. One leading cartoonist in Norway had the following response. He was not going to enter the controversy because as he pointed out, these people slit your throat. Mr. Hagen had a different response, which I suspect he will indicate to you. Editorial cartoonists are able to convey in a simple yet vivid and powerful message what the columnist often needs thousands of or hundreds of words to do. The best cartoons, funny or sobering and serious, are like an unexpected punch to the gut. The brilliance of a great editorial cartoon is its simplicity in carrying great substance. Rude Hagen gives new meaning to the phrase drawn and quartered. Rather than be depicted in a Hagen cartoon, I suspect many politicians would choose almost any other fate. It is said that a picture may be worth a thousand words. Hagen's words and his cartoons are often priceless. Thank you.